Good morning, good morning, and very big welcome to another Monday Messages from me, uh, Rebecca Atkinson. And I am, for those of you who don't know me, I am a holistic health coach, a homeopath, a mentor, and lots of other things besides. And I use all of those skills to help as many people as I can to feel as healthy and as happy and as um, creative and productive as they would like to feel. So my Monday messages are very much about helping to support you to do that by just popping in here with a thought, a simple practice, a focus for the week to just get you thinking about things, um, usually about yourself and being able to get more clarity about how things work for you and how perhaps they don't work and what you can do to have as much control over your life as is needed and is possible. So welcome to those of you who are joining me live and you can always catch the replay for anyone who um, can't stay. Um, I post up each video every week and this morning I'm actually trying a different um, camera position. So uh, if you've got any thoughts on that, if you're a regular watcher, then do pop them in the comments below. And of course, share any thoughts you have, either live or if you're watching on replay, I welcome them all. OK, so this morning. I really wanted to I want your help, actually, um, and, and I think it's going to be helpful for you as well. So that always um, is a good thing in my book. Um, I'm doing a little bit of research at the moment on how we all view health, good health, I'm talking about. Um, so and we do all view it slightly differently, I think. Um, there are some things that we have in common and other things perhaps not. Um, and there are lots of different health modalities out there and their um, way of approaching health is obviously very different from, from each other. So really, you know, this is, I think, is a very important question always but particularly in the times that we're living in at the moment. So I wanted to ask you a series of questions, just four questions, um, and maybe you could use them as journal prompts at the moment. So if you keep a journal, or perhaps even if you haven't started one, you might be um, triggered or inspired to do so by these questions. Um, so the first question, is to just, I, I would really like to know how you define health. What does it mean for you? When you are thinking about, okay, I feel really healthy, what does that mean for you, both in a general sense and also very specifically to you um, personally? Um, so maybe you could, I mean, I'd love it if you could share any of that in the comments below. That would be fantastic. Um, or you can private message me if you prefer. Um, but just for your own sake, to have clarity over, well, what, what do I actually mean when I'm talking about feeling really healthy? Um, and I would invite you to think about health on um, several levels. So firstly, obviously, the physical level. Um, you know, when we think about physical health, we're talking about usually physical symptoms that indicate that our body is um, not working or is actually working very well, depending on what your your beliefs are. Um, you know, the other thing is our emotional health. Um, so how we feel about things, um, how often we might get triggered by um, other people or, or events or, you know, anything to do with how we're feeling about things emotionally and also spiritual health. So kind of how you feel you fit in with your world in general, um, your sense of well-being. 
um, your sense of where you are in terms of your family or your community. Um, so I would invite you to think about health when you're when you're journaling on it in all three of those areas, if you can. Um, and once you've compiled a list or a, um, a paragraph or whatever it is, then the second question, and I am going to post these questions in the comment thread um, below so um, you can have a reminder of them. Um, the second question I would invite you to um, consider is when you think about your definitions of health, are they predominantly about um, the absence absence of things? So the absence of physical symptoms, maybe, or um, yeah, the absence of negative feelings um, or what you perceive as negative feelings. Or are they about the presence of what we perceive as, as more positive feelings or more positive um bodily functions, if you like. Um, it, it's quite an interesting exercise to do because, uh, and I'm not instigating any judgment on this at all, it's interesting to see what drives our beliefs and our behaviours. Is it coming away from something or is it going towards something? And that often then gives you an indication of what sort of um, feelings that you are having or even emotions that you are having around whatever it is that you're thinking about, in this case, health. So um, sometimes you can have a little bit of both. That's fine. Whatever works for you, as long as you are feeling that you're um, balanced, that you are in control, um, and that you, the, 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 it's not keeping you in a, a state of fear or anxiety. Because um, often when we're, we're kind of motivated by coming away from something, it can mean that we're perpetually in a state of fear or anxiety. I hope that makes sense. So I'm inviting you to just get some clarity for your own purposes about that. So are you being driven by largely by um, an absence of symptoms or are you driven by knowing, oh, yeah, actually, this lovely picture over here is what I would like to be um, working towards as much as I can? So that's your that's your second question. And the third question, got the right order. Um, yeah, if you do feel unwell in some way, if you do have a perception that you're not fully in health, who do you call upon um, to, to help support you in regaining your health? Do you have one person, one or one modality that you always go to, doesn't matter what's going on, this is who I go to, to to help me feel more myself, more well, more healthy? Or do you have a number of different support mechanisms or modalities or practitioners that you use and they're your kind of health team, if you like? And I would also include yourself in that. You know, if there are any um, practices or, um, uh, yeah, eating habits, anything like that, that you perhaps allow to slip from time to time. And when you start to feel unhealthy, you go, OK, yeah, actually, this is what I need to start doing again because I know it makes me feel better. So just put a little list together of who are your go to health support team, even if that's one person. And it doesn't have to be holistic health practitioners. You know, I'm including any system of medicine here. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, so that would be something I would love to know. Um, and then the fourth question is kind of leading on from that, which is what, what do you think you do to take responsibility for your own good health? What action steps do you take 
to to help you feel or be as healthy as you can possibly be. And um, don't, you know, again, no judgments of yourself. No, oh, my God, I should be doing that. Don't want any of that. Just want this to be an invitation to for you to get some clarity and to remind yourself perhaps of what you could do and to feel um yeah i i could i can actually do quite a lot of things if i really think about it good morning sarah you're very welcome thanks for joining me and i know sarah you do tons of things to keep yourself healthy and fit and, uh, you know, I know that includes for you, Sarah, I think it's, you know, it'd be very much food, good food orientated. And I know you get out and about a lot. Um, and those things are so valuable, those building blocks of health, you know. Um, so, you know, when you're journaling on those four questions, um, it, it'll often lead on to other questions as well. So thinking about what I can do to prevent illness um, and that is something that we all have we all have that capability um, if we choose so I'm inviting you to kind of reconnect with all of those things at the moment but also I genuinely really want some feedback on what your definition of good health is and uh, I might actually even put a poll together um, and if you're a member of my newsletter I will be sending one out um, and if you wouldn't mind sparing a few minutes to complete that that would be really really helpful because I'm, I'm doing this bit of research for an article at the moment so I hope you find that useful um, please let me know how you get on I'm very interested to know about what everyone thinks health true health means to them um, yeah and have a lovely lovely week and be as healthy as you possibly can and i've got somebody else who's just joined me can't actually see who that is let me have a look uh linda i think it is good morning linda and you're very welcome i've just come to the end actually so do watch the replay. I, as I say, I'm going to post those questions up in the comments because I've forgotten to put them in the, the introduction. But if you could share any of that thought process with me, but particularly what you think your definition of health is, that would be really, really handy. And um, thanks for the hearts and the thumbs up. And yeah, have a great week. And thanks very much for watching. And thanks in advance for answering my questions. Okay. Take care. Bye.